St. Louis County police are working tonight to solve a homicide case. Five people were found dead earlier today at an apartment building on Chambers Road. News 4's Venton Blandon has been talking to investigators and family members tonight. Vinny? Right now, Emily, the families of five people and a host of friends are getting ready for bed for the first time knowing they are no longer able to share a conversation with someone they love. As investigators look to find who killed all five in one apartment, countless others demand answers. It's a shame. It's a dirty shame to come in somebody's house and, and just kill everybody in there. St. Louis County Police found five bodies inside an apartment on Chambers Road at Green Valley Drive near Jennings around noon. Hortense Kane is the mother and aunt of two of the people killed. They was the only one she was standing in there. It's condemned and they had to the 23rd to move. Police have not yet identified Kane's son and nephew or the other three people killed. The weight is still heavy on me for well, all of them. Not just mine, for every last one of them that's in there. The wait has not stopped the worry. I want, I want closure. I want to make sure that that is one of my family members. Lynetta Brewster believes her brother is one of the five killed. She and her sister, Antonia, want more than answers. I just want justice for my brother. I mean, this, this just wasn't right. They came in there and slaughtered five people. I've been born and raised in St. Louis, and most of my family members have moved on and moved back to Alabama. Some have moved other places, but this is the worst that I've seen in St. Louis. St. Louis County's police chief and prosecutor were there with the families. We will stay with this investigation however long it takes. Both urge people who know what happened to pick up the phone. Any help that we can get, anyone who knows anything, please contact us. Um, uh, we're here to support uh, law enforcement as they uh, initiate this investigation. Investigators are looking for the person who killed the five adults. Now, we did ask what information they could give the public right now to help get that person under arrest. But at this moment, investigators don't seem to have any good leads.